be up here to this orange table, guys. If you guys, uh, if you have a first lady, bring your purses. Guys, if you have a first two, that's cool. Bring your first two. Uh, call me up here, guys. Make a horseshoe around the table. And, uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Basically, you're to the table, like mine. Uh, mine is, and you are one step closer to getting your free gift. Oh, wow. You are too far? Well, obviously. All right, get back to the post, guys. If there's a spot in front of you, go ahead and pick it up. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Think just a little more. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> you're good. You're good. There you go. All right. Perfect. Awesome. All right. There's a spot right here for someone. Someone in there. Uh, we can fit like 70 people right in here. Doing it. Someone fits in there. And there we go. Boom. There we go. All right. Who's in here, man? There you go. There you go. All right. Everyone, just squeeze in one more time. All right. Here you go. Everyone, just squeeze in one more time. <laughs> and just one more time, please. Here. All right, good. Yeah, awesome. 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 <laughs> All right, guys. Well, let um, me shut this up. This reminds me of my past. So. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, well, these, these sell in finer gourmet kitchen stores for about five dollars. They are solid stainless steel, so you can throw them in your dishwasher. You guys can see that. Uh, this is my magic spiral. Cool. You put it in your food, your produce, you spin it around, it starts cutting into it, it creates like a spiral effect. You probably see them like at therapy and stuff like that. We'll get a potato, we'll spiral it out, they fry, you're like, oh my god, this is amazing. Well, anyway, let me just show you a minute, bro. Um, so yeah, basically, you just put it like on your little potato, you spin it around, it's kind of off, worn out already, but um, yeah, it makes that effect right there. So, curly, curly fries. Yeah, like curly fries. Thanks. And um, yeah, some people like to prime up, they end up like this, or you like to, you want to make like a decoration. Anyway, normally um, we sell these for about five dollars, but uh, today they are free. Ah. <laughs> I just want to know one thing: show of hands, who's gonna say thank you when I hand these out? Thank you. All right, thank you. keep them up. I need to see who's not giving them free gifts. Ah, uh, yeah, there you go. All right, those went up pretty fast. Awesome. Okay, good, good. All right, guys, awesome. Well, well uh, uh, ATV is asking for your thank yous just a little differently today. They've asked me to introduce a really cool new product to the store really fast, and then I'll hand out your magic spirals right away. Sound good? Yeah. Cool. All right, good. Let me just pull this away, and voila. I think so. All right. Please don't take this. It's very quick. At least you don't. Okay, guys, this is my brand new Pro Smart. Slicer. Everyone say, ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Check it out. First things first. Anybody here make apple pie? Everyone just say it. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. All right, take your apple, guys, and then you just slide it through. And then what you're going to have is your nicely thin, even slice. What? Boom. Shot to lock There you go. <laughs> Obviously, this is great. If you have kids, because we all know how kids are, right? If it looks good, it tastes good, right? Yeah. Maybe you just like eating apple slices like this gentleman here. Yeah. Or maybe you just like uh, baking apple pies like uh, this guy does right here. But either way, uh, this is what makes this machine revolutionary, guys. Everyone squeeze in so you guys can see this. Check this out. Can you guys all see this little dot on here? If you can't squeeze in so you can see. Keep your eyes right here. I want you guys to remember this, okay? It's pretty important. Watch. Um, you just push and turn. Whoa. Push and turn. Yeah, four settings in one machine. So you can do thick slicing, you can do thin slicing, you can do dicing, you can do mincing, you can even use the Julian blade. So I'll get started off with that thick Julian blade and this potato head right here. Show of hands, who likes French fries? Yeah, everyone likes French fries, right? All right, cool. Um, basically, you want to make a potato look like Snoopy with a little cowboy hat on, you know, hee haw. And um, actually, look at the potato. There we go, man. All right, nice. So just take your potato and then you just slide it through. Oh! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you get your nice, thick french fries, just like from the restaurant. Yeah, you Whoa, the there you go. <laughs> Anybody, <laughs> Anybody here familiar with the term, making it rain? <laughs> that's what I do, make it rain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Little less expensive, of course. All right, guys, notice how these are all pretty much the same size. They're going to cook evenly. And because they're fresh, it absorbs less grease and less oil. That makes them taste a whole lot better. Not to mention, they're healthier that way. So, now, notice I've gone all the way down to the skin, so nothing is wasted. That's because of my little safety handle right here. You can do it. They hold the produce in place for you. 
These were actually developed for the culinary schools for the blind. That's actually how I see myself in slicing my fingers. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, I'm sure everyone here has people over for the holidays. All right? If not, you probably go to somebody's house. All right? Anybody here uh, actually make stuffing? A few people, okay? Yeah? Okay, cool. Then you guys know how much of a pain salary can be, right? With the strings and stuff, sometimes you put it in a food processor, it turns out the most. That one. Sort of fucks out the one. But anyway, keep that rubber band on it, Sammy, you got some stuff. Check this out. Squeeze it. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. Four. What? Yeah, yeah. Check it out. In less than five seconds, you got a couple of celery ready for the stir fry, the stew, the stuffing, the salad, whatever recipe you want to use it for. A little easier now, right? Definitely. All right, guys. Is that all about? Oh, maybe, maybe. How much is that? Okay. Uh, all right, check it out, guys. Uh, you probably know this is a little too large for stuffing if you don't want it to be too crunchy, right? So let's say you guys want to mince it. All right, check it out. Squeeze it so you can see this. Check this out. You just push and turn. Together now, just push, push and, and turn. turn. All right. <laughs> Anybody have picky eaters at home? Yeah? Yeah, I feel your pain. All right, check it out. Take your little piece of celery. You just brush it through. When it starts getting low like that, you know, don't risk it. Just put your little safety handle on there. Slide it through. And then you have your finely minced celery. What? There you go. Make it rain. Make it rain. <laughs> Make it rain. <laughs> Who likes tuna salad? What about chicken salad? Yeah, never been easier. Turkey salad. Their turkey salad is good too, yes sir. Never been easier. And your picky eaters, well there will be no more picky eaters. Alright guys, what's everyone's least favorite thing to chop in the kitchen? Onions. Onions, right? Nobody likes chopping onions. But we all gotta do it sometimes, right? Tomatoes. Yeah, tomatoes too. But uh, you ever chop an onion before, sir? Shed a few tears? That's where I've shed more tears chopping onions than I have over lost girlfriends. <laughs> Thank you for your sympathy. <laughs> All right, guys. Pico de gallo, is that popular around here? Oh, yeah. yeah? Awesome. Let's do this. Take your onion, slide it through, and then you're going to get your uh, nice, nice honey. There you go. If you're not impressed by now, you're probably just not good. Okay? <laughs> All right. There you go. <laughs> just saying. That was pretty awesome. Um, in less than five seconds, once again, you get your nice bowl full of uh, chopped onions ready to go. Now, let's be honest, guys. How many recipes actually call for chopped onions? A lot, right? Even that apple pie you baked this morning, right? Oh, no. no. <laughs> All right. Um, let me just put a little water here so that this doesn't uh, make you guys cry. Deactivate those fumes. I'm going to give this a little rinse, too. Check this out. As I rinse it, watch this. What? Everything just falls right off. That's because this is a kitchenware polymer. That also means that if you're lucky enough to have a dishwasher, top shelf dishwasher safe. Boom. All right. Now, this is the thick slice. The only one you haven't seen yet. Sometimes the hardest thing to chop is something soft, like tomato. Yes, sir. All right, guys, you guys ever tried chopping through a ripe tomato with a dull knife? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What happens? Of course, you have to smash it. You start making tomato juice, a homemade ketchup, right? Hopefully, yours isn't as soft as mine. Well, can you guys see how this blade is slanted at an angle? Yeah? Ask any chef. They'll always tell you. Cut everything at an angle. That way, you're not squishing your bread, your tomatoes, or any of the sauce. Yeah. So, just take uh, your onion. Mount it on your safety handle, then just slide it through, and then you're gonna have your nicely thin, actually thick, cut tomato slices. What? That was a pretty bad tomato, really. Yeah. Yes, sir! There you go. <laughs> Hilarious. All right, guys. Then you're gonna have your nice, thick, perfect tomato slices. These ugly slices right here. Do you guys ever get these ugly slices like in your burgers and stuff? Good, because I'm gonna hide it back here like this. You guys can't see the ugly slices. <laughs> All right, incognito. Okay, the mandolin was originally designed in Germany for the purpose of turning our cabbage into sauerkraut. Today, I'm not gonna do that. Today, I'm just gonna shred some cabbage for coleslaw. Anybody here actually make coleslaw? Little guy does? Okay, we got one of them, two, two people here. Hey, man, all right. That's about the same age my mom made to start learning to cook too, so it's 